Are you ready? For what? Payback. So I'm supposed to explore my own studio blindfolded? No, that would be too easy. Then what? Uh, this. <laughs> I'm weird. All right, get with it. You can't see a thing, so what do your other senses tell you? That I should have let you go home when I had the chance. <laughs> hey, watch out for your Aunt Harry. <laughs> All right, Spinelli, I want you to look closely. Tell me what, tell me what you see. Yeah, I... I, I see a, a vagrant, probably a, an unfortunate byproduct of the current economic crisis, yet despite his misfortune, spreads good cheer with a friendly wave. Yeah, but, but Spinelli, this guy did just wit witness a shootout. Yeah, and at the gallery tonight, Franco's waving, too, the exact same way. Okay, so you think that Franco and the homeless guy are the same person? past history of current annoyances, I, um, uh, I never wish anything bad for you. Well, 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 well come on. Is that because you care, or is it because of the history, or because you, I'm like an old friend you feel sorry for? I'm going in. together kind of makes you wonder what might happen doesn't it you could see the whole time couldn't you not at all if you hadn't caught me who knows what would have happened you saved my life you are so full of crap <laughs> you keep saying that here try this what is it poet's muse supposed to promote creativity, but if you ask me, it tastes like 10-year-old cough syrup. Thank you for the warning. Ugh. Ugh. So, <clears throat> what attracts you to all this scary murder stuff? I told you. It's the dialectic. Art is the conflict between two opposing forces. Point and counterpoint. Life, death. Yeah, you, um, you say that, but how do you feel? <laughs> was a girl, wasn't it? <laughs> Isn't it always? Well, tell me about her. I don't feel comfortable talking about her. Oh, okay. Well, posing as a corpse isn't exactly in my comfort zone either, so I understand. Fair enough. I was in love with her. Of course you were. Does she have a name? Vanessa. Vanessa. Yeah, she lived across from me in a third floor walk up on Canal Street. One day I came home and the cops were swarming all about the place. I ran up the stairs and there was crime scene tape across her door. I looked inside and there was a chalk outline on the floor. And an artist was born. Do you mind? This is personal. Sorry. She'd been murdered by a man she never even met. He stabbed her with a number four steak knife. And then threw himself off an overpass into oncoming traffic. Parts of him were scattered for 500 yards. I haven't been able to eat meat to this day. That is... ridiculous. The part about not eating meat? Number four steak knife. If the love of your life is murdered and you're suddenly obsessed with cutlery. Mm -mm. You made that whole thing up, didn't you? I make everything up. This guy is approximately the same height and pretty much as far as I can see, I'm with all the layers of clothes on, sort of the same build. I just... I wish we could see his face. Okay, let's just go through this again. Okay, first the homeless guy, our witness, he, he waves to me as we're driving away from the scene. Right? Then the same guy, the homeless guy, goes through the trouble of waving at a security camera at a bank a few blocks okay, away. And maybe he's friendly or something. Maybe okay, and just hours after that, Franco, a guy I've never met, makes it a point of waving to me at an art show. A 
mean, that, that's a lot of trouble to go through to get my attention. Okay, fine. But if, if it really is the same guy, why, why would a famous artist dress up as a homeless man? We're good. Detective Spencer, what a lovely surprise. Have a seat. <laughs> oh, let me guess. You found my daughter alive. Of course, you didn't because she isn't. So tell me you at least found Claudia's body because I'd like to give my girl a decent burial. If you feel like arranging a funeral, how about one for Joseph Limbowski, a.k.a. Joey Limbo? I understand he was a close associate of yours. Look, may he rest in peace. I had no idea he was ill. Not nothing a bullet and a broken larynx wouldn't fix. He died with three of his men. Oh, you're dropping like flies. But as you can see, I'm trapped in this place like a caged animal. I survive through meditation and visualization. So, who do you make for the shooter? I don't know. Maybe you decided to make an example of Joey and his men. <laughs> If my arms could reach through these bars and make an example of anyone, it would be Sonny Corinthos. I'd happily get rid of the man who killed my daughter, and Joey Limbo, and who knows how many others. The world would be a better place. Well, and it's a good thing you're locked up in here, isn't it? You know what I worry about? What's that? Sentiment. It weakens the spine. Look how my son compromised himself to protect his sister. And I have a feeling that you might fall into a similar trap. So you have to ask yourself, how far will you bend over to protect friends and family? Because you mark my words. Joey Limbo died on Sonny Corinthos' orders. And your father's hands aren't exactly clean either. You show up here and let yourself in whenever you feel like it. It's okay, Sonny. Is it? Were you expecting me to be here when you decided to bring him home? Okay, watch your mouth, show the lady some respect. Oh, so what? You need Sonny to protect you from I me don't now? I don't need any protecting from you, John. In fact, I was just. What is going on here? Why are you so scared? Well, don't intimidate her. <laughs> I'm not afraid of John. And I'm not going to get caught between the two of you again, so. Sonny, thank you very much for bringing me home. Good night. We still got things to discuss. No, no. I did what you asked. I went to the art opening with you. Now, please, let's let this evening be over, okay? Okay. If Olivia's unhappy, I know who to blame. You're trying to punish me. It's working. I wonder if Sonny would be this concerned about your happiness if he knew that your son was trying to put him in prison. You know, you know what? I've been trying to appreciate this stuff all night. It's not art. It's garbage. Well, I hate to state the obvious, but this is not called a garbage gallery. Mm -hmm. Art speaks to something inside of you. It's visceral and subconscious. All right, well, my idea of art is something you'd hang at the Met, made by a master. This guy, this this is not a master. I mean, look at that. That is that is like a car wreck. You can't even take your eyes off of it. He's one seriously messed up SOB. Okay, you didn't answer my question. Do you see crime scene like the photo? I don't know. I mean, I must have, but I, I, I can't place that. I mean, I hate to admit it, but one crime scene is pretty much like the next. 